to Let's Play. More Pokemon trading card game. And last time we encountered Ronald, and he wants to duel us. So it's kind of like the rival battles back in Pokemon. But instead of going against Gary, we're going against Ronald, the blue-haired wonder. Seriously, doesn't he look like he'd be a Pokemon card? Anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to wing it with my mic situation right now. And since that, I don't... I don't want to um have to uh, redo this all over again. I'll just jack up the volume if it's too low. So for now, I'll give one to Magnemite, and I think I might need some more cards later on. But for now, he only has a Charmander, and I was hoping I could paralyze him, but I guess that's not going to be happening anytime soon. Oh, well. What I've been doing lately, you guys? Um, Well, I've been looking for colleges to go to. Real colleges. Big colleges. Where... The women are sexy, and there's not a lot of boys that go because they can't live off of their parents. I'm just saying that because, I mean, like, a lot more girls do go to college. That's statistics for you. Anyway, yeah, I'm doing a good job keeping this uh, Charmander stall until I get me some more Pokemon. So now I got me my Diggler built up. No, no, I'm going to try that next turn. And yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the Power Plus next turn, and I'm going to be able to kill his Jarmander. Hopefully he doesn't have any more Pokemon. Oh, nope, nope. He has a freaking Lapras. Okay, time to kill this Charmander. We got another Diglett. Don't need him. Well, I'll use that now. And let's use this computer search. Arcanine and Diglett. And I don't know what I'm going to be looking for. Let's look for that Doug Trio. There we go. And let's evolve Diglett. And then let's use our po Professor Oak. Nice strategy, wasn't it? Just got it down all the way to the last card. And yes, yeah, see, we got all these fighting energies. I'm a genius. And now I can kill his Charmander. I should have just, like, winged it and just tried to go for a Thunder Wave and have it paralyze him again. But, you know, I didn't feel like trying that. And all he got is a Squirtle anyway. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Aw, oh, crap. Withdraw basically repress... I mean, it represses all damage against him, so... I can't be doing anything against him for now. So, let's uh, hire up the uh, other people. And I did not mean to do that. I actually meant to press up, but... Oh, well. I can at least paralyze his war turtle, so... I mean, I might not be able to hit him, but I could still kill him. Matter of fact, if I use Explosion right now, I could kill him. So, how much is this Bite Attack? Excuse me, I gotta check him. It's 40, so I might as well use Explosion right now. And... I'm gonna use Doug Trio next turn. Oh, wait, I did not mean to do that. Oh, well, let's try to go for a Thunder Wave. And good, I knew that would work. Oh, man. Sometimes I got to sit down and actually think who, what energy I'm going to give to somebody else. Okay, now I'm going to kill this War Turtle. And thank goodness that I got me another Thunder Energy. Okay, here you go, Meowth. And you self dest Oh, crap. I forgot again to give it to uh, Magnemite. Oh, well. He won't be able to do much besides bite and kill me with one hit. But that's why I got me this Doug Trio in the back. Because now I can just kill him with one hit with Doug Trio. See, that's why I didn't want to use Self Destruct. Because I'm not like, wait, he's going to be open to attack one of my Pokemon. And all of my Pokemon only have high HP. Or very low HP. So basically, he would have took more than half. So I didn't want anybody to die instantly, instantly once they came out. And now I can kill his uh, Charmander in one hit. I'm not going to give him this Fighting Energy. I'm going to give that Fighting Energy to uh, what's his name? I'm just going to use Earthquake. No, I'm just going to use Slash. I'll use Earthquake later when I want to kill all of his Pokemon at once. Or when I'm down to his last Pokemon. He has a big diversity of uh, cards, by the way. Like, you guys seen that he used, uh... A, uh... He used... He has Water Energies, Fighting Energies, and, uh, Fire Energies. So, yeah, he got a lot of Pokemon. He got Water, Fighting, and, um... Water fighting and, uh, crap, fire Pokemon. Shut up. Anyway, I actually can kill this thing, and I could actually start powering up the Zapdos. I don't see the point, though. I'm probably not going to get, like, enough fire energies anyway, or enough electric energies. 
Then again, I got a big diversity of Pokemon in my deck, too, so. Good thing um, Pokemon trading card rules don't apply to the effects that normal rules do. And dang it. Oh, well, you know what? I'm just going to kill him with this Ponyta anyway. Gust, it obviously sends a Pokemon out and um, brings him back out. Just like in the real game. I miss Pokemon trading card. I mean, pa Pokemon Stadium, too. That was my favorite uh, Pokemon game, by the way. And yeah, Ponyta's probably going to. Oh. Yeah, I'm kicking his butt. Okay. Fire energy to... You know, is this his last Pokemon? Yeah, it is. Retreat! Bring out the cavalry. Uh, you know, I'm just going to use a potion on him. You know, I didn't even really have to retreat. I could have used the switch, but you know what? I'll just use that for later. Uh, here you go, Charmander. I don't think you're going to need it anytime soon. Uh, so water Pokemon would be able to do more damage against me if this was the actual rules. Anyway, well now he has one more Pokemon on the bench, so I can kill in one hit anyway, so. He is toast! Hopefully he doesn't evolve him next turn, or this turn. Okay, good. And I win. That wasn't hard at all. You know, normally I like, stop the video and then do it over again, like I did with my last video. If the duel wasn't epic enough, but you know what? I kind of just wanted to beat him here and now. Anyway, yeah, yeah. For beating him, we get the promotional card Jigglypuff level 12. And it does absolutely nothing. Except first A, which cures itself, which is pretty good. And double edge. Now, that's good. 40 damage for a normal Pokemon. Or for a basic Pokemon to do 40 damage against somebody. Anyway... I got time to spare. Now, before I choose the next club I want to go to, I'm going to go check out the Challenge Hall. Because at the Challenge Hall, they sometimes hold tournaments here. And they're obviously not holding any tournaments here yet. So, the Challenge Cup held here is preparing for the next one. Please visit another time. So, I think I'll check again after I have three, uh, three medals. Anyway, let me check my email, because last time I never got to check it, because we were rudely interrupted by Ronald McDonald. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. All right, I got me a laboratory booster. Nine tails, gold duck. Ooh, gold duck. Now, this hyper beam is pretty good, because it takes off on my energy card that's attached to the Pokemon. Anyway, there's nobody else except Recycle, which is pretty good. Just basically, you can get uh, discarded pi I mean, discarded cards and put them back in your deck. It's kind of like the Monster is Born. Anyway, for now, I don't really have a destination, and I want to build a deck, just not on screen. Eh, maybe I will. Let's go back to the laboratory, and let's see how much it takes to build up another deck. Charmander and friends. The closest deck I could build up is Bulbasaur and friends. So... I'm going to do another duel against um, Aaron so I can get a few more energy cards. And then, like, as, like, an extra video, I'll show off what it's like to build a deck. I don't want that to be part of the main series, even though it is going to be part of the playlist. It's just not going to have a number on it. You and I play house. Let's play. Dr. Manson's all like, oh man, you forgot to pronounce my name properly last time, TK. And I'm all like, fuck you, I'll call you whatever I want. <laughs>